guys, what's up? Welcome back, Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Big John TV, we're all about food, family, fun. Food, family, fun. That's how we roll. We have not done one of these videos in a very long time. We're talking gadgets, kitchen gadgets, right? Yep. You guys love these. We love doing them. It's time to do another one, and we've saved this one for this time of year specifically because we're coming up to Memorial Day weekend, the official start of the barbecue season. I don't, I don't have a barbecue season. I do it all the time. But I think hot dogs and Memorial Day weekend go hand in hand. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Backyard grilling, barbecues, cookouts, camping, grilling hot dogs, cooking hot dogs. I think it's all in the same realm, right? Yep. Now, we found some gadgets that are supposed to make cooking hot dogs even better. It's going to take them to the next level. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we got two different varieties of hot dog. We got a basic cheapy brand and a Costco. That's my favorite. And it's a, this is a Costco beef hot dog. Um, nothing fancy. Just regular everyday hot doggies. Yeah. Now, you would eat those plain. Yes. I, I right just, now. I would just eat them cold. Cold as would I. But let's get into these gadgets. Let's see if they make cooking the hot dog even better. We're gonna air fry them today to get them warm, and then we're gonna see which you know what happens with them, right? Yep. Which one should we start with? This one. Oh, I, was th I thought you were saying hot dogs. I'm like. Well, we'll start with this gadget and that hot dog. Okay. okay. Yep. We'll do one of each, mm -hmm. and see where we're at from there. All right. So this is a spiral cutter. Perfect. Enjoy perfectly caramelized hot dogs. You got a red and a yellow. One's for bigger hot dogs. The other's for smaller. Let's get into this package. I hate, with a passion, this style of packaging. This is really hard to read in this lighting. Slice your wiener into a perfect spiral for even cooking. Holds all of your toppings better. Enjoy perfectly caramelized hot dogs, offering delicious and crispy bites. So. That actually open it? It didn't. No, 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 it did not. Still not in. All right. Should we read directions? No. Or just figure it out on our just on our own? Just figure it out on our own. That's a good answer. Um, spiral cutter for hot dogs and wieners. Um, spiral cutting hot dogs, bratwurst, and sausages is fun, simple, and great tasting. Because hot dogs, brats, and sausages come in so many sizes and shapes, we have designed our cutters to adapt to the many varieties. By following these simple tips and tricks, you will find that ease, the ease at which multiple sizes wieners can be spiral cut. So there's a bunch of tips, a lot of reading. All right. Um, so I did go through those directions a little bit, and there's a lot of reading, and I don't really have, I don't care, right? Mm -hmm. So I think you should use this hot dog for that one because it looks a little bit narrower. And I'll go ahead and use this one for this one. Um, slide the hot dog in it. I think this one's too. I. And then you use the tool to score it. You follow it around the spiral. Right. Okay. So once it's in. Oh. And it's got a guard so you don't go in too deep and cut all the way through. So only go in as far as the knife will let you. There's a little stopper right there on the edges. You see that little line? So you're going to put put it on the hot dog like this. And then. You shouldn't ever have to pick up the knife. It should spiral. Except till when you get to the end. Yeah. Right. So, you see how I did that? Here, move it up here to, to the, the board. Go ahead and then you take the knife, push, and roll it forward. The whole thing should roll. Oh. <laughs> 
feel like mine did okay, but it wasn't that deep into the hot dog. You're not supposed to saw it. You're supposed to insert it and roll it. See that? Uh, no. <laughs> I think your red tube may be slightly too large for that hot dog. Probably. Dog. Let's test this hot dog. Let's see if there's, yeah, there's nothing to it. Jamie's is chewed up. Let's go ahead and take yours out, bud. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me see your blade for two seconds. I or think you could just cut it. Okay, so watch. Push in. Let's use two hands. How about that? See that? Yeah. You want to keep going or you want to take over? You keep going. You've been outside playing all day, haven't you? Yeah. You're tired, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's a good thing. takes too many hands. And you pushed it. Uh, oh. Mm. That looks kind of gnarly. That looks stupid. Okay. Um, so yeah, this one didn't work at all in the red one. It was too far away from it. Too big for that one, too small for the other one. You can shave it. Okay, he's, he's scraping the backside. All right, so um, I don't like this one already. Let's go ahead and don't don't overdo it because we're gonna have several. We're gonna end up air frying these today. We're gonna put this one here on the left side. Uh, that'd be your right. We're gonna not worry about the other one because it doesn't really work with either of our hot dogs. Oh my, so I can't take this one because it's the one I already right. On. So there's those. So far, I don't like it. Me neither. But you like that? Give me the little knife bit. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. There's the knife bit. Let's try this one. All right. This Next. is how this one was delivered. It came with no instructions, no packaging. It was simply in an envelope. So I think, and this is just completely off the top of my head. I know nothing about these. I, if you watch these, I don't do any research. I have no idea. And we get so much crap and hate comments because of it, but I think you go like this, and I think you roll it. Yes. How do you know? There's no I don't. instructions. But look. Look at those lines. Here, try it on that one. Did this you one? see? Yeah. So, I put it on. Kinda. Okay. Start on one end of it, push hard, and roll it. Nope, you gotta let it, you gotta roll all the way without stopping. There you go. Now roll that way while pushing down. You could probably go back and forth. It doesn't matter. But go all the way across. So to make, make sure you get all the way around the hot dog. Okay. Let's take a look. Mine's not hot enough. No. Those do have a thicker skin. A little bit. So let me do this one for you. Try not to get my fingers in there. Okay. Now that one did better. This one did okay. See all little holes there? I did this one. Yes, you did this one. You did a great job, Jamie. All right, let's put those right there next to it. The hand moves so I'm gadget. putting them in order of so how the, we use them so we so can we'll remember. Yeah, keep keep tabs. Good call. All right. This one or this one? Let's do this one since it's already here in your hand. Uh, this one is, see, Charcoal Company Dizzy Dog Spiral Hot Dog Cutter. Increase flavor, crispness, and caramelization. More room for toppings. Durable and easy to use. We'll see about that. I'll find a way to make it not easy. Well, that packaging was easier than the other. That's for sure. There's that. All right. Um, are there any? Were there any directions? Did you see any directions? Yeah, it's on the back right here. Do I need them? Slide your wiener in. Twist the thing down and around. What? Alright, you want to do this first or you want me to go first? You. Which way is the... So the spiral's got to go away from the hot dog? <laughs> so I go like this? Yes. And then I go like this? Yeah. It's... Not working. I think the skins are too tough on these. 
So maybe if you hold it in with your finger or something? But now it's going to be all messed up because... It started here, to cut? Go ahead and start twisting that. You're going to know the other way. Yeah. You won't be able to just roll it either. You're going to have to actually... Yeah. Now it's going to have chopped that hot dog apart probably because we probably started multiple lines. But it's staying in there. So let's make sure we stop before we get to my finger. I don't need a spiralized finger. <laughs> Keep going. You're good. Keep going. Ah! Just kidding. <laughs> I felt that too. Okay. This is so weird. And how do we get it out? Good question. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's go right there. So does that one have an actual blade inside of it? There is a hard plastic piece that's attached to the wheel. I see it now. So it's not metal, it's not a blade per se, it's just a little dial, a little little thingy here and there. So because it's not actually a blade, it is having a hard time on the Costco dogs. Yes. But see now these are like not ab abnormal shape or size, right? Maybe these. find a skinnier one from the pack because they are all oddly sized. They're all about the same though. Yep. Let me see. Because if you un... <laughs> you dork. So if you stretch it, it gives you more room. It like increases the diameter. Can you see that on the screen? Yeah. Kind of blurry and lit up weird, but you're on there. I don't know what they're going to be able to see of that, but I can see it. So here, you continue doing that, push it in the rest of the way. Just spread it open by twisting. Now just try to twist it. All right, go ahead. Me? Yeah. I'll hold it on the top again. And I'll chop off your finger again. No. <laughs> you don't feel that. Didn't even go all the way, to the, not even close to the end. So now we have to back down the ramp to get off the freeway here. Um, I don't know about this. this one. I think you should have been able to put it in and roll it. I think so too. I think it's designed to do like that, yes. but then you're going to shoot the hot dog out the side. And now, see, I can't get. See. Do the same thing. Like that? Yeah. And put it like this or something. I could give you a, a, a thing of thingamajig to poke it. Yeah. Look, I see the concept of this you one. See? I get it. I see it. Oh, wait, look. If you look down. Mm hmm All right, let's try this real quick. Get out with that. Hold on. Oh, I see. How about, how about that? If you if you don't hold it in, will it push it out? If we, go back, up, right if we go back up it, will it push it out? No, I think it'll just keep cutting it because nope, that was in there so snug. The, it's destroying the hot dog pretty quick. Okay. So here, watch. Well, <laughs> it's in two pieces now. Oh, it is? Yeah. You cut it! I did. One for me, one for you. Yeah. Okay, there's one chunk. Right. There's, 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 well, we gotta cook it. Let's cook it. That might be too thick. You shot a plastic piece at me. Oh gosh, it's... No! <laughs> no! 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 We get comments. People are like, oh, you did that on purpose. Or, oh, you... I... That's not how it should Wait, be. Wait, I want to see it. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, there's that gadget. That one was a fail. Um, Maybe. I don't know how you'd get smaller hot dogs, and this, these smaller ones went in okay, and like that did all right, but they... All right, let's do the last gadget here, and then I'll see if I can't recreate some of these with just a regular knife, huh? All right, let's... Uh... Oh, yeah. So this is the new Curla Dog Spiral Hot Dog Slicer. Fun and easy to make. Just press and cook. Instant spiral cuts for gourmet tasting hot dogs. This includes one large curler dog, one regular curler dog, two skewers, and bonus 20 hot dog recipes. 
recipe with hot dog. Add cheese, there's one recipe. Add chili, there's another recipe. Um, this is from As Seen on TV. Wait, can I see a hot dog? Oh, yep, we're gonna get into this right now. Jamie's already got the red one no open. Thick one. Which one do you want? That's the that's your kind, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so hold on. You're gonna show them how you. Nice. You take it and you push right it, it and you push it down. Okay. Oh. Uh, um. Okay, I. Uh, you may have pushed it a little bit too hard, but it's it, opened up. It worked. It did work so far. Let me try the yellow one. They're both gonna do the same thing. I tried looking on the directions. I'm not certain what the skewers are for. For cooking your dogs afterwards. So you load it into the into the the um what's this look like? A tanning bed. And then you just push it down. Now Jamie went way down. Like at some point there'd be at some point it would be too much because here's the thing that you use. So then you take it and you have to unstick it from the... Okay, now see, I can... It's fully cut both sides. But not all the way around. But not all... Well, it is all... Well, no. It's half and half. Yeah. So, well, it's like 40-40%. There's still a little bit left on that one. So let's do... I'm going to do one more like this. Because I want to see both hot dogs. That one went down a lot easier. Now, is this going to come out in... Oh, well, you know what? Let's do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. See, there, there is... Okay, a... okay. I, I, no, watch. I got it. I got it. I totally got this. You're going to go in with that. See, there's a little spot for your... I think that's for It's going to go afterwards. You're going to go... See, we're troubleshooting live on camera. So, you're going to go boom like that. And then There's the little, one on the other side. Yeah, the little slot right there. You're going to push it through. And you can see it wants to go all the way to right there. Now it's through. Kind of. You're going to open it up. <gasps> Holy guacamole. That is totally on there. Um, is air fry the whole thing? It's metal. It is. <clears throat> all right. Uh, maybe not. Because so, um, when you pick it up, it's going to be hot. I'm going to... Should I try and do a hand version too, or what? Oh, yeah, if you want to. Watch this. Well, that was pretty quick and simple, wasn't it? It's almost like I've done that before, huh? Cut the pot. Now I want to go the other way. Okay, throw that in there too. All right, so these are gonna go in an air fryer. If you've never tried air frying hot dogs, it's actually a really good you method. Should. Love doing them this way. When that beeps, we're gonna eat. Yep. All right, out of the air fryer, ready to go. They're a little bit toasty. Let's start off with Jamie, you got the red and the yellow ones, right? Yes. So this was the Costco dog. That looks good. Now you see what you know what I like about that is that you're getting the cooking of the dog and the searing inside and outside. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. All right, so the big one didn't work, and you we ate that one, right? I did. Okay. So so far on that one. That one looks okay. That looks okay. But half of that wasn't functional for what we were doing, and it was a little bit difficult. Yes. But not bad. Next up, we have that one, the rolly one with the spikes. This is the Costco dog here. It didn't really work. It didn't really go through it very good. That is true. And this is the cheapy dog, which actually, because it's a little thicker, a little bit softer, actually worked pretty good. I'll say that's not bad. Right? Mm -hmm. And on all the like on like that picture? Yeah. They can't see that one. Nope, because we're not talking about that one. Huh? Huh? What? 
now it fell. <laughs> All right, let's move on to this one, which probably is the worst of the lot. Um, we have the Costco dog, which actually it did okay. It did okay. It was a little bit difficult getting it in and out. Yes. But it will. It worked. It did okay. And then the bigger, cheaper hot dog clearly was a fail. A fail. If you want to bite that, it's probably cooled down enough for you. Um, that's just, I mean, there's no point in that one. Wait. Um... What are you trying to do? Nah. No. Alright. Next up, we have the red and yellow tannings, tanning, tanning bits. That's the good way to call them. This is the Costco dog. You see it opened up enough that it gave a little bit of curl to that when it was cooking. This was the cheapy dog and it did pretty darn good as well. <laughs> See know, that? Like your cone dogs or hot dogs always get cold in the middle mm -hmm. at the outside. And when we cut it all up, you, it gets inside and then it warms up the inside. A lot of times when you're like roasting a, a hot dog on the fire, it'll get hot outside but still be cold inside. Doing it this way, if it works when it opens it up, alleviates that problem. And even like half the cut would work. So this is the one that I really pushed down. See, it held its shape. It, I mean, it held its form. It's still a hot dog. It's still one piece. Look at all those gaps. That was nice. Um, this is the... The... Well, that one again. On the skewer. Worked really good. See how far we can stretch it before it breaks. Stayed on there. It did. It stayed on there. It opened up. Probably could have cooked it more and more and more and gotten it good and crispy. I, I don't know. I don't like my my hot dogs like bone bone. I like them warm. Yeah, not you're not a bone. you're not a charred dog fan. Nope. So I mean, realistically, that looks really good. Yep. And just for the sake of comparison, I, this is the one I did on my own. Honestly, it. Uh, pretty decent too so i mean not so bad that looks cool yeah i mean i i did all right huh he, he did crisscross <laughs> crisscross so um let's go down back through the line this this tool no good i don't like it there was a pain in the butt getting it in and out yes. um the concept was good the sizes of the hot dogs are very specific and while you could manipulate it a little bit to get them in and out i think it's very uh, narrow usages on which hot dogs you can do. So this one is out. Um, I would say Jamie's the first one because it's got two tools and one of them didn't do it at all. I think that that one would be the next out, correct? Yes. Or would which is worse, do you think? That one or this one? That one. This one doesn't really... Actually, th this one. Let's not get rid of... One. Not, that not one. this one? This one. You're gonna get rid of that one next? Yes. Okay. So then I'll get rid of that one though. We're getting rid of this one next, for sure then. Didn't really open it up much. It gave it holes, but it didn't separate it very much. Mm -hmm. And I mean it looks cool. It did its job, but I think the other ones do it a little bit better. Yeah. Look at that bend the Um so that leaves realistically the winner here, and it's both of these. They both work. They both did their job. You could run a skewer on both of these. You can. And that's amazing. Right. So you cinch it all the way down, push the skewer through it. You're gonna stab yourself if you're not careful. Here, let me, let me just give you this one. <laughs> we don't have any more hot dogs out here. The mom already took them away. And you take them, and you just go. Uh. Close it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right in. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So Memorial Day weekend coming up. Perfect time for grilling hot dogs, being outdoors, and all of that. Uh, if you're looking for a cool way to spice up and spruce up and fancy up your hot dogs, uh, no matter how you cook them, this gadget here is the winner tonight. The new Curla Dog, as seen on TV, Spiral Hot Dog Slicer. This one was good. You didn't have to twist or roll. You just put it in and shut the thing, and you're ready to go. Yep. 
and it worked on both sizes. So that's the winner. I think the um the thick one worked better instead of the long ones. Um yeah. Those ones are a little bit tougher. You know, all, all hot dogs you got different textures and consistencies and lengths, but that's it. That was a good one, huh? Wait, can I see that box? On this box they put um mustard inside the the, the cracks. Yep. That looks good. That does look good. <laughs> Alright guys, make sure you smash that like button and say yay gadget videos. Uh it's been a long time. Yay gadget so videos. We were excited to do this one. And that's it. Thing. Wait, this is my first time in a gadget video. You may have been involved with the eggs. Yeah. It's just been so long you forgot. That's really it. All right, guys, we're done. We're out of here. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, ring the notification bell, you could, share our videos with your friends. Yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And yeah, all social media is come hang out with us. Catch you on the next one. Peace. See you. Bye.